am Pinstar, and this is Aerobiz Supersonic Retro Let's Play, Episode 2. So, in our last episode, we got ourselves, our self-titled airline, uh, into the air, Pinstar Airlines. Uh, got ourselves two routes, they're doing quite profitably. Um, uh, hampered a little bit by some slower slot negotiations, internationally speaking. But, you know what, I think we'll be able to survive the one-turn delay. And we got two, uh, two more local routes uh, getting ready here. And we were just about to hit the turn button here and see, uh, see the resolution of our turn. So, let's do it. All right, Sunrise ordering more planes. They're negotiating with New York, of course. So we're going to be uh, going against them directly. Olympics going to Sydney. All right, so uh, Sydney's going to get a big boost. All right, Iranians dominating the Middle East, of course. Um, these uh, these comparison totals become a lot more relevant in the later game when uh, the numbers that are shown here uh, determine who is who is the uh, regional control. Um, all right, let's see how we're doing. Our revenue's not so a sunrise. Holy crap! The heck route did you make, Sunrise? Because you were making Boku bucks. Um, we're uh, pretty much tied with Air Max, but our uh, costs are much lower. Air Max is probably using, that's because we're using such efficient airline, or airplanes. Poor Iranians not making any money. They're still losing money. Uh, but Sunrise, yeah, Sunrise is going to be our big competitor, I have a feeling. All right, Air Max ordering some big guns. Tokyo to, ooh. That's going to be a profitable route. With the Olympics going on there, from Tokyo to Sydney, they are going to be—they're going to be making bank off of that while those Olympics continue. All right, five slots in LA, five slots in Honolulu. I think we're going to be getting some stuff. Got a couple more MD100s to uh, add to our Seattle route, uh, provided it is—it's uh, still uh, doing its thing. Seven seven sevens. Uh, those are going to be for the new routes that we just uh, set up. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at our routes and see how we did here. So New York to San Fran, despite adding all those more, all the more planes, still, still, a hundred percent full, book solid. Holy crap! Um, well, uh, I could get one more plane for it, um, but let's. Uh, Let's jack up the price. Oops. Yeah, let's jack up the price. Because um, we need to capitalize on the fact that we still have full planes here. Let's jack you up to 25 above. Because everybody and their mother wants to take that route. Um, Seattle, also full. Uh, but we have the wherewithal to uh, add planes to them. Um, so let's jack their price up too. And we will add two more planes. For a total of uh, that. There we go. That should uh, do that. I think I'll order one more MD100 to throw onto the uh, San Fran line. Um, just because we've, I've got the spare slots in the local thing. I don't want to waste my agent's time negotiating for more stuff in those little cities. We've got other things to do. Um, all right, so where else are we going to negotiate? Um, well, we could go, uh, we could go in here to Mexico. That's not a bad idea. Let's see here. Now, there's Mexico City, but one of our competitors is headquarters there. Let's see the numbers here. We got 14.8 million, 43 economy, 38 tourism. So lots of people, but not very wealthy. Um, Sao Paulo is 13.5, 35 economy, 32 tourism. So the economy is worse, um, but it would let it would get me uh, Havana. Well, they probably don't like us. Yeah, they don't like us. 2.8 million, not as many people anyway. Um, I don't feel like uh, going uh, strictly against Mexico City uh, neck and neck here. So I think, yeah, I think uh, I think going for Sao Paulo is uh, probably a good idea. Let's go for it. Uh, six months, finally, a friendly country that only takes six months to do. Uh, and 
then you, my friend, I have I have plans for you. Um, actually, more slot negotiations are in order. We could do New York to, uh, let's poke our head into Africa. Cairo, what's Cairo looking like? Oh, not too bad, actually. All right. We might not necessarily expand heavily into Africa, um, right right away but um, New York to, to Cairo should probably be a good uh, good profitable route okay so we've got two two uh, sets of uh, slots uh, coming due here uh, in terms of uh, uh, that so we need to start ordering some planes uh, we've got five slots um, so we're gonna need three planes a piece because you get fewer flights per plane at longer distances um, and I think that's going to be the case with both uh, our uh, Japan route and our uh, Paris route. So let's take stock of what we have. Now I know we have some bigger McDonnell Douglas planes, and I know I'm trying to get away from McDonnell Douglas, but waste not, want not. Now uh, those MD-11s probably aren't going to cut the, cut the mustard here. The MD-12 might. Actually, let's... Um, Let's do this. We're going to do two MD-12s. Um, just so we can use the, make use of the one freebie. Oh, i got to order one more of the uh, MD-100s, too, while I'm here. Because um, I, need, I need that for my short routes here. And then I think that should be all the... All the all the McDonnell Douglas planes that I'll be buying. Because those uh, MD-11s uh, I could probably use for a more local route, uh, just in sort of in place of where I'd be using my uh, 777s. Now going here to Boeing, now we're going to want to bring out the big guns for that New York to Tokyo route. We want the big guns. Yeah. Mm, these things are expensive, but uh, yeah, worth the price of admission. All right, so we got those beasties on the way, and we can order our next batch of planes later. All right. All right, now let's actually uh, let's actually make the uh, routes here, shall we? All right, so New York to L.A. Definitely gonna be doing. Oh, uh, we could do it with the MD-11s or um, what? Um, the seven same passenger totals. But the 777s are more efficient. Um, so actually, you know, really, I might just sell back the MD-11s because the 777s are strictly better in everything except for range. The MD-11s have a better range, but we don't need it in this case because it's only 2430 uh, miles. So yeah, we're going to stick with the 777s and I might sell back. Um, so two of the 777s here. Um, we'll stick it at average fare for now, and then uh, probably increase it later on. It seems wasteful to sell it, but that, selling them back would get me closer to getting Boeing's discount. So I may want to do that anyway. Um, distance 5,000 miles, it's just enough for... Uh, it's still just enough for, for um, that uh, compared to the uh, the 777 can still make this can still make the trip on a on a full. Oh, oh! I'm only getting one. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's play this a little bit differently here then. Then, since um, all right, I have an idea. New York to LA is going to instead, and, oops, no, 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 we don't want to close it. No, I don't want to close it. Phew, that would have been a waste. All right, New York to LA, I don't want to close it. I want to change your model. I want to change you to the MD-11. Yeah, the MD-11 is going to service you. Oops. 
All right, same, uh, same number of planes, same number of flights and all that good stuff. So it's just changing the MD-11. So that gives us uh, three 777s in inventory, which means we can, um, we can tap into Honolulu at, for all five of those slots. Now, whether or not that's going to be profitable or not, we'll find out later on. But we can always pull off a, a plane and put it somewhere else. Nice and juicy, five flights a week, average fare for now. Also, I'm curious to see what the uh, numbers are now that I've jacked up the prices on our uh, on our uh, other routes here. San Fran, wow! Even with that price jacked up and New York to Seattle is still rocking the hundred holy crap all right well up to 50% you go both of you yeah you're gonna get one more plane coming soon but I'm still jacking your price up done here. We've ordered all of our planes, so let's hit the end turn. Oop, my Iranian's got a route in the red. I mean, the red lines mean that that route is not profitable. We hopefully will not see any of those for us. South America is experiencing a boom in tourism. Oh, I'm glad I started uh, negotiations there. I'm going to have to prioritize uh, my route down there quickly to tap into that. All right, international flights. Yeah, we're late to the party because our international negotiations took an extra long time. Sunrise making bank. Uh, we're making bank too. Well, that's we're, we're making passengers. Whether or not you make bank, and oh yeah, we're making bank. Yeah, that's big and pink. Just like I like it. And don't read too much into that phrase or take it out of context, please. Thank you. Yep, 68840K. Um, so not too shabby. Not too shabby. Alright, Tokyo and Singapore, that's going to be a good one too. Tokyo and New York. Alright, so they're they're uh, flying in our face, quite literally. But uh, we're going to be flying in their face too, so we're going to be uh, fit, squaring off with that route. Yeah, Air Max is going to be happy about that thing, and yeah, now you're going to New York City. That's the problem with being the having your hub in the juiciest city here is that other people want to use this as a base of operations. All right, five slots in Seoul, five slots in Paris. We've got our MD-12s, which will be uh, for our Paris flight, and our big McLarge. No, nope, not our big McLarge. <laughs> the one MD-100 to try and continue to shore up our uh, San Francisco route. And the Big McLarge, uh, huge B747 400s. All right, let's get to uh, opening some routes, shall we? Let's go over here to Southeast Asia. Here to Seoul. And yeah, you're gonna be now. Because you can only have one route international, one international route between two different regions. So I couldn't do New York to Seoul and then New York to Tokyo. That being said, um, even though they're going to different cities, um, I, they, the game still treats our, our two international routes as direct competition. So let me press select here and see what our. So they're using two MD 12s and they set their price, they're only doing two flights a week. And they set their price to 25. So we're going to one up the ever living hell out of them. We're just going to do three planes, give us five flights a week. Uh, we're going to keep the fare at even here and see if we can't kick their butt. Uh, it may cut touch off a price war depending on how they react to us, 
Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, and our other one. Now, think, thankfully, this one I don't think we're having any direct competition with is our uh, is our uh, North America to uh, Europe route to Paris specifically. And you're going to be the MD twelves. Oh wow! I didn't need to order another one of them. I can wow. Okay, well then. Um, we'll keep the fair. Well, we'll we'll jack you up since I have no direct competition here. All right. So we've got two people uh, for negotiations here. Uh, well, one one person we need to get more slots in New York City itself. Um, if we want to continue making roots out of here. So we are very quickly running out of slots. We can get 14 at a time, but thankfully our headquarters only takes three months. So we can get lots of slots there quite easily. Now for you, uh, I think I'm going to buy a business venture here. Since everyone and their mother is flying through uh, through here, um, and we got lots of passengers. We're gonna we're gonna tap into a business venture here in New York. We are going to buy the Grand Hotel here. It's very expensive, but still pretty good. Although the shuttle service is uh, shuttle service and this catering service would be uh, tempting as well. Um, and with that, we could do advertising. Yeah, if we got the shuttle plus the catering service, um, that would be pretty darn good. It would help keep uh, people out of here. So actually, well, let me buy the Grand Hotel defensively, because we don't want uh, we don't want one of our competitors grabbing that thing. All right, so everyone's going to be finishing their mission in three months here. Um, we've got let's see, we've got two um, we've got five slots going down there. Um, I think if we order another seven seven seven, we'll be good there. And then our um, Oh, our New York to uh, to Tunis uh, flight uh, is oops. Uh, New York to Cairo rather is uh, pretty good. Now, what's the distance on New York to Cairo? Uh, five. All right, so I can't do it with a seventy-seven, seven, seven, seven. So I might um, I might utilize. I know I keep splashing here into McDonald Douglas. Um, yeah, if I get us, get a couple more MD twelves. You probably need a couple of them though. Um, let's just buy one, and then we'll go back here to Boeing and get some more seven seven sevens for our. For our south, uh, uh, yeah, I think our south. I think we can reach. I think we can reach that. I'll, I'll double check. And always good to measure. So Sao Paulo to New York is how far? Oh, easy. All right, we can do it. We can do it. So we'll order a couple of those. Might not even use both of them, but I'm going to be using these 777s for a lot of other routes. All right, now let's uh, let's do some other route maintenance stuff. Um, so we just set up those. So we don't know how they're doing. New York to LA is 100% full, even with the MD11s. Uh, I'm not going to be tapping into any more things, so let's jack the price up. We'll start at 25 and see what that does, and if not, then carry it even further. Um, New York to say, aha! We finally hit the breaking point. All right, so let's let's add our last plane here. And our lovely Milo, thank you. 
And then let's pair the fare back to 25. That should stabilize San Francisco's. And Seattle, yeah, Seattle took a big hit when we uh, when we jacked their prices through the roof. So let's um, let's pair them back to say 30. Yeah, we we took it a little overboard there. And now that we're starting to get competition in there, yeah. All right, and we can get back those two remaining slots because I'm not going to be bidding for more uh, with them. That's a little bit wasteful. I might bid more. I might bid for more in um, the New York to LA route. That uh, that could be pretty tasty right there. But these these smaller routes, not so much. And then let me see. Uh, did I see? Uh, did I check on New York to Honolulu? I want to make sure that route's uh, working properly. The seven seven sevens, the three of them. Uh, wow! Even with three seven seven sevens, it is okay. Let's jack that fare up. Now I might not uh, I might not be wanting to add more as I get some more direct competitors because now that everyone's uh, flying to New York, they're probably going to be setting up hubs in New York and trying to compete with me regionally. Okay. All right, I think we are good. Did I order the planes I needed? Yes, I did. Okay, we're good. We're good. End turn. Yes, I know. South America is still getting a boom in tourism. International flights. Boom! Look at that. Top and international. Now, an interesting dichotomy to this game is that the international flights are, are where the big bucks are, but it doesn't help your wind condition. Your wind condition cares about regional passenger totals. They do not care about your, holy crap, that's a lot of money. They don't care about your, uh, um, your international thing, and it actually doesn't care about how much money you're making. Uh, the money is sort of inconsequential to being able to carry the most people in all those regions, but of course you need money to make money and to carry people, so uh, my strategy is to focus on international flights first, get up my, uh, get my profit margins going quite nicely, uh, and then going and trying to conquering regionally speaking. So yeah, uh, the, our main competitor here is Sunrise, uh, but we are beating the ever living heck out of them. Air Max is doing their thing. I'm surprised. I'm su I would think they would be doing better than they are right now, uh, given that the South American uh, tourism boom. So I don't know what the heck they're doing. And poor Iranian. Yeah, they're they 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 chose a bad city. <laughs> All right, ah, Tehran and London, there we go. So yeah, their first real uh, international flight besides Africa. Okay, they got their, see that little orange dot down there? They got themselves a regional hub set up in Sydney, so they're gonna start taking over Sydney, which is fine, we're not trying to fly there. Air Max and Sunrise started flying in North America. Yep, but we got that grand hotel. Passengers from our hotel and connecting flights will give us a boost. Well, that sounds awesome to me. Got our uh, flights in uh, Brazil and in Cairo, so uh, things are looking up. Oh, and we got all our slots in New York, so we can start having flights going from New York there even more. Got our deliveries here. Uh, and I think this is a good... Um, good stopping point for the episode here so if you like the episode and want to see more like it go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment good bad or indifferent your feedback is always welcome uh, so until next time this has been pinstar signing out see ya <laughs>